greetings container gardening grow family in today's video we're going to be giving you guys a first time look at our now one year old boston fern that we're currently growing in a 15 gallon container we're going to give you guys some updates and uh history on this plant as well i'm going to raise this camera up for you guys right now and give you guys a first time look at our now one year old Boston fern that again we're growing in this uh, 15 gallon container. Take a look at this. Bam! Isn't she both huge and lovely here in this 15 gallon container on our front porch? As I walk you guys around this Boston fern in this 15 gallon container, you can see this fern has almost filled this 15 gallon container. Now, let me give you guys a little history on this Boston fern. Just recently, when I say recently, I mean only 30 days ago, we came out, we removed this Boston fern from this container, we removed all of the soil from around its, its root, root base, and we actually chopped this Boston fern in half. We chopped it in half, we put one half of this, this uh, Boston fern in a couple of other containers, and we put the other half of this Boston fern back into this container. That was 30 days ago. And again, 30 days later here in row zone 8B in Tilton, Georgia. And I'll take you guys in for a close-up down around the root base. You guys can see that this Boston fern is again taking over this container. All of those little things that look like roots sprouting out, those are actually fern sprouts. This container will be again virtually overrun with ferns here within about the next 30 to 45 days here at the more you grow container gardening again here in tifton georgia grow zone 8b now i'm going to walk you guys out to our front yard to our nursery out here i'm going to show you guys where the rest of this fern is and give you guys some further history on that again one gallon boston fern that we just showed you in that 15 gallon container this container gardening grow family is one fourth of the half of the Boston fern that we removed from that container over there again 30 days ago we put again one fourth of that Boston fern in this container this is a five a four gallon container here that one fourth of this Boston fern has almost filled this container up. Again, it's been 30 days since we planted this Boston fern in this container. The remaining portion of that fern is here in this one gallon container down here on this bottom shelf here. I'm gonna pull it out for you guys. That is the remainder of that Boston fern that again, we removed from that 15 gallon container there on our front porch. As we showed you guys at the beginning of this video now further history on that fifth that uh one year old boston fern that we're currently growing in that 15 gallon container approximately three months ago we took one fourth of that boston fern from that container prior to removing one half of that boston fern from that container only a month ago and we took that one fourth of that boston fern we chopped it into half, and we planted those two halves into these two containers. This was three months ago, and this is what those two Boston ferns are now looking like right here at the More You Grow Container Garden. Take a look at this. Bam! Can you guys see how huge, how huge, how huge, family, these Boston ferns have grown here in these hanging pots in just the past 90 years days here at the more you grow container garden they are a pretty deep green they're virtually completely filled these pots you can see the new growth down there that those little curls down there that new growth down there putting those things on everywhere in these pots they're happy healthy and looking fantastically well that makes a total of five ferns that we've taken from that fern within the last four months you know, and more you grow container garden. These Boston ferns grow fast and vigorously under the right grow conditions. And again, our mother plant, that's all it call this our mother plant because this is where we get all of our ferns that we're currently growing out there in our nursery out there. 
taking all of those ferns from this particular fern right here and again only one year old so imagine if i left all of those ferns in this pot how overgrown this pot would be and how unhealthy this fern would be it's a great idea every month and a half to two months during the grow season to remove some of your balsam fern from its current container or posture balsam fern into a larger container to keep the plant from actually smothering itself in its own container. Thanks for watching. And if you are watching this video on our one year old balsam fern and family that we're currently growing in this 15 gallon container and you're not already subscribed to the more you grow container gardening please take a moment to press that subscribe button beneath this video the like button the notification button and be sure to share this video with your friends and family as well thanks for watching